If you've been looking for a very simple hair oil to transform your hair and get it from short to long in no time, then this is the home remedy for you. I'm going to show you how to make this wonderful hair growth oil that requires very easy to find ingredients. Hello family, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be making a very simple onion oil spray, but this time I'm going to be adding some rosemary and one secret ingredients to stop the onion from smelling so strongly so i'm going to be using red onions today and i also have some coconut oil this is cold pressed coconut oil and the difference between cold pressed and hot pressed is that cold pressed coconut oil is white in color and it's clear just like this one you're also going to need or i'm also going to be using some olive oil these are the two oils i'll be working with but you can definitely work with any oils you prefer or any oils that absorb into your hair easily i have my spoon for measuring and then i have some rosemary rosemary is going to be a big part of my hair growth recipes this year i'm going to be adding it in almost everything and last but not least i have some rolled oats here or some oat meal now there is a trick that i learned where you put some oats in a bowl an open bowl and then you put it in the fridge this will kill any bad smells that are coming out of your fridge and especially onions onions have a very strong smell so i did try the oats in an open bowl trick and i put it in my fridge and i had some cut onions in my fridge and guys let me tell you the onion did not smell at all in fact the oatmeal just killed every smell so i'm going to start by preparing my onions and it's very simple the method i'm going to use to prepare my onion oil today is the chopping method this one i'm simply going to cut my onions into bits and then i'm going to transfer it to my frying pan add the rest of the ingredients add some oils and then fry it for some minutes to extract the oil the other method of processing onion oil is by cutting the onion into bits but transferring the bits into a blender adding some oil to make the blending process easy instead of water and then after that you transfer the blended pulp to your frying pan add some more oil fry it for a while to extract the onion oil and then you're done or you can try the cold pressed onion oil method where after you're done blending the onion you transfer that into a mason jar add your oils of choice and allow to sit for a few days for the oil to infuse before you sieve everything and get your oil so i've already done that video before but i'm going to try it again and follow this method where i do the oatmeal trick Now that I've transferred my chopped onion into my frying pan, I'm simply adding two spoons of rosemary. Now, this spoon I'm using is about the size of a standard teaspoon. It's not much at all but i used it because i didn't want to use metal to scoop out my ingredients so i simply used the plastic spoon and then i went ahead to add some coconut oil to my onions and rosemary now the bottle of coconut oil here is 250 ml and i added 15 spoonfuls basically half of the coconut oil which is 125 ml in case you need measurement so i added 125 ml of coconut oil and for this olive oil this olive oil is 125 ml in size and i just added about 10 spoonfuls of that which is not a lot so about 50 ml of olive oil and 125 of coconut oil so i added that and then i stirred everything up before i added my oatmeal now similar to the way the oatmeal works for the fridge and bad smell i was hoping that when i added some oatmeal to this oil 
before frying it was going to extract all of the bad smells from the oil essentially the onion oil i was hoping it will make the onion oil not to smell so strong since i was going to fry it now you know when you fry onion oil it tends to smell like fried egg so i added the oatmeal and this is my oil after frying for 15 minutes now you can see that my onions are still a little red and that's because when i let it to fry and as i was filming this whole video i was in a hurry because i had to go out but that's okay you can fry your oil for anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes but you want to be checking your onions so that the onions don't burn as you are frying so this is what my oil is looking like at this time i'm simply going to go ahead and strain this and once i'm done with that I will transfer it into my oil applicator bottle and it's basically ready for use now onion oil is one of those oils that you use if you want your hair to grow onions are rich in sulfur which help to strengthen the hair strands but it's also one of those oils which we advise you to use with caution this is because sulfur as we know it dries out hair and if you're going to be using onions especially if you want to make onion spray which is onion juice or onion water and not onion oil you are going to be applying that sulfur directly to your hair so for the oil is kind of a milder usage because the oil will help to dilute or reduce the level of concentration of the onion let's talk a little about benefits onion oil is great for reducing hair loss improving the health of hair the shine of hair the luster of hair the volume of hair making hair longer it also helps to reduce graying it helps to treat dandruff it helps to promote hair growth and it helps to reduce any kind of fungus or bacteria on the scalp and hair so now my onion oil is ready i'm simply going to transfer it to my applicator bottle this is a 100 ml applicator bottle so that's a 100 ml of onion oil right there and that's it our onion oil is ready for use for usage i suggest you use this once a week two times a week at most you don't want to use it too much so that your hair doesn't dry out from the sulfur in the onion for preservation simply store it the way you would any other oil since there is no water in this oil it would last long it has a great shelf life and for the remaining of my onion rosemary etc i simply put this back in my cup and then i added the same quantity of coconut oil into the mixture and five spoons of olive oil instead of 10. i let this infuse for a few days this is basically my next batch or my next onion oil this was going to come out great because the onion was still red it hadn't ex i hadn't extracted all of the minerals and vitamins from the oil and that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching